Right, Lara's watching the show, and action! Gatsby. When the audience read that book in 1925, what it meant that there was jazz in there. Like, the, the, it, was, it, was, it was dangerous and intoxicating and thrilling and sexy, and it was jazz. F. Scott Fitzgerald came up with this phrase, the jazz age. I played Jay Gatsby, or Jay Gats in the film, uh, a young man that came from humble beginnings, that sort of recreated himself according to his own imagination for the love of uh, a woman named Daisy. I think he's pretty much the manifestation of, of the American dream of imagining who you can become and in, in a place and a time like America in the 1920s. The main thing about Daisy is her duality. She wants to be um, protected and safe and live a certain way, but at the same time she wants, you know, epic romance. I've never worked on a, on a film that's had such scale, but also such intricate detail in the design of it. And, um, and every costume and every set that I walk into, every time I put on a pair of Daisy shoes or I wear some of the Tiffany's jewelry that we have on this film, it, I mean, if you're wearing, a, um, you know, the engagement ring that Daisy has is just this enormous diamond. The instant I put it on, it, you know, you feel different. There were scenes there where we were around Gatsby's pool, he's throwing a big party, it was, such a spectacle, it was really something to behold. And, uh, you know, at the end of those kind of days, uh, you know, everybody would, would look around and go, wow, you know, that was, that was cool. That was something to be a part of. That's not something you get to see every day. I've always loved the idea of the American dream and just the immigrants coming from different places and full of want. And there's a kind of purity about the drive of those people. And Fitzgerald both shows everything that's pure and beautiful about it, and then everything that's problematic. His projection on Daisy, the ways that she wasn't who he hoped she would be, and it finally brings him down and destroys him. So I think maybe my favorite thing about Gatsby is just showing the Achilles heel of the American dream, and in a way that feels scary and relevant.